Today, history has been broken. Welcome back to the Crypt Report. I'm Black Sea. I have another video for you guys. Today, I want to talk about Bitcoin and the monthly candles breaking the trend. Let's talk about that. Without further ado, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's hop into this video. So guys, right now, Bitcoin is trading at $66,710, up about 0.46% on the day. Bitcoin dominance coming down ever so slightly, trading at about 53.47. When you exclude stablecoins, we're basically at about 55.5%. We came all the way up to 57% on Bitcoin dominance. We're starting to trade down after we had that little bit of a capitulation. That's when we really garnered that big move to the upside. But that being said, I expect sideways consolidation with the dominance, moving to the downside, and Maybe the next couple months here, when we see Bitcoin make that large move to the upside, or even a little bit of a correction, we start to see Bitcoin dominance head its way towards that 60% Bitcoin dominance level. 57% is a given at this point. We've already reached it. But 60% is still on my radar. And, you know, I said either to the upside or the downside, but in reality, we probably won't garner that type of Bitcoin dominance until, unless it is a move to the upside. So all in all here, guys... Is liquidity moving into the market? Things are looking pretty good. But let's talk about history being broken. So guys, right now on the monthly returns on Bitcoin. March. March was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Seven positive monthly candle closures on Bitcoin in a row. More than ever in history. And well now... So far, it looks like that trend is going to be broken with a minus 0.6, loss on April. Now, is that a good thing? Is it a bad thing, you may ask? I think it's a great thing. We need to see that. We need to see a little bit of a cool off here. We need to see some consolidation, and that's exactly what we're getting. The real question is, is the bottom in? Will it be sell in May, walk away? Well, you can look at previous months. And to be honest with you guys, out of the past 14 months, seven of them were positive and seven of them were negative. 50 50% chance. Although May is always that colloquialism of sell in May and walk away, or bearish September, all of these colloquialisms. Sell in May, walk away, it makes sense. It makes sense. But that being said, do I want to get caught? not having any exposure in the market during May, during an election year, probably not. Probably not. Not financial advice, but I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and I'm going to hold. I'm holding through May. I've been trading around, but my, my hodl bags, I'm, I'm holding them until I think that the top is in, or we start getting close to that. And in my opinion... We've got time, guys. This year right here, be prepared to see some big green gains. The question is, does it happen in May, June, July, or do we wait all the way until October? I highly doubt we have one, two, three, four, five consecutive red candle months in a row, especially during an election year. We'll have to see. But really what I want you guys to take away from this is that we're probably going to close April with a negative return. Unless, I mean, let's take a look at Bitcoin because right now the monthly candle closers. Unless we close above $74,000, which would be absolutely insane. It'd be absolutely insane if we saw that. If we close above that by the end of April, well then, in my opinion be prepared for some fireworks. If we do reach previous highs in the next eight days, be prepared for some large moves to the upside and somewhat parabolic moves. And in my opinion, I don't really want to see that. I want to see sideways price action. I want to see a negative monthly candle close on Bitcoin. I want to see that because, guys, if we don't see that and we do see candle closures above 74000 in the next eight days, which is pretty aggressive. It's pretty aggressive to see that play out. But it is Bitcoin. It can happen. If that does happen, then 
this cycle, in my opinion, is doesn't have much more room to go. And it's going to throw a lot of people off, and a lot of people are going to lose money. We want to see sideways price action here. A slow grind for a month or two before we make our continuation. But, and if we do, and if we do see that, then you'll probably see this play out until later in the year. You'll see the, the bull market run until the end of the year, into the election year, maybe even into 2025. But if we still make this move to the upside sooner than later, say in May, if in May we start to see big moves to the upside, I'm going to say, okay, this, this run, this bull market is probably going to end sooner than people expect. I know you don't want to hear that, but that's why sometimes you need to sacrifice the short term for some bearish price action before we get continuation of the upside. And that being said, guys, I mean, we're not out of the woods yet for going straight up right here in the short term. Uh, sure, we are Maybe the bottom is in at low 60,000s. I mean, we're trading at, we did break 67,000 yesterday. This, this sentiment is pretty bearish still, uh, but it's pretty vacant. It's not, I don't see any euphoria in the, in the crypto space, uh, in crypto Twitter, the crypto influencers. I don't really see euphoria. I see a lot of people saying, oh, we're going to probably have some boring months. That's kind of what I'm seeing. That That's the, the general consensus, and sell in May and walk away. We're going to sell off in May, and we're going to have some boring months. I'm seeing a lot of that. Hopefully everyone's right. Usually everyone's not right when everyone's saying something. Hopefully they're right, though. I would like to see some sideways price action, and that leads me to this chart here on the weekly. I've been talking about a while, this 60 level right here, this white line, saying that if we clip below the white line, which we're still above, and then where we're trading right now, we still will maintain this wave. If we clip below this, then I say, okay, we're probably going to have a longer-term correction. We're probably going to correct throughout May or June or through the summer. And then into the fall is when we'll really start to see the real hype start again and lead into 2025 bull market mar macro cycle top. But that being said, guys, it's important that we pay attention to right now. Right now is important because if we do make this move straight up from here, be prepared. Be prepared for the market, for this bull market to end sooner than later. But if we do get that correction and trade sideways for a little while, stay above that 60, well then, probably have a longer bull market. Probably go higher for longer. Guys, if you like this type of content, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel right now. I like to just give you guys my opinion on what I'm seeing playing out in the market. been trading in this market for over three halvings. I'm going to start saying that now because it's pretty pretty crazy. It was pretty shocking when we were looking at the halving day. And I realize I've been around for over three halvings trading in this place. But also, guys, like I said, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, if I can get to 200 followers on Instagram... By the end of this week, I will give $100 worth of Bitcoin to one of you guys that follows me on Instagram. So go follow me there. Also, check out some awesome referral links we have down below. A $4,100 sign-in bonus to Femex. All you got to do is go below this video in the description box. Click the link. Deposit. Trade a little bit. Get a bunch of free money. That's all I got for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.